hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be learning how to make this simple bubu kimono dress it's a very simple tutorial and very beginners friendly so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel so let's jump right into the video so we're cutting out the front and the back panels together so i have both fabrics in a fold already so i folded this fabric using my shoulder to my sleeve length so my shoulder to shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 which is 8 inches and the sleeve length i'll be working with is 10 inches so i have 18 inches here so i have 18 inches on fold for the front part and 18 inches on fold for the back part as well so for the length of my dress i'll be working with 37 inches so you can decide to use anything you want for this and i added one extra inch for folding at the base making 38 inches so the first thing you want to do now is to draw out a starting line at the top of your fabric so draw out a straight line at the top of your fabric this way so after doing that i'm going to go ahead now and place my neck measurements remember you are taking all these measurements from the closed angle of your fabric so the wideness of my neck i'll be using 3.5 inches then for the depth of the back panel, the depth of the neckline of the back, I'll be using 1.5 inches. And for the front panel, I'll be using 8 inches for that. So I'll form a curve now to form my back neckline. And then I'll just take my ruler and form the front neckline, which is a V-shaped neckline. So after doing that, I'll come over to this point and take my shoulder loop. So from that line there, I will come down by one inch. That is the open angle of your fabric. And then I'll connect it to meet the width of my neckline this way. So from that point, I'll take my round armhole measurements divided by two, which is nine inches. And I added extra two inches to it for ease, just to make it free. So I came in by one inch there and then I will connect it to meet the upper line. So this is what you should have after doing that. So right now I'm going to take my shoulder to my hip line. So for my shoulder to my hip line is 23 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark it out there. And then I'll just extend the line as you can see me doing in the video. So I'll go ahead and mark my round hip measurements divided by 4 which is 11.5 inches. I'll add 1 inch for ease and another 2 inch for another two inches for ease because the dress is going to be a free dress that is 14.5 inches so i'll go ahead and mark it there so i'll just take my ruler now and then extend the line upwards to meet my armhole point so i find it this way so i'll just connect it together as you can see me doing in the video so i'll go ahead and form a curve at that point just form a curve that way so that it's going to come out neat when you sew it so I'll just extend the line downwards to the full length of my dress. So this is basically all for the kimono part of this dress. So I'll go ahead now and cut out the back panel first. So I'll be cutting out the neckline of the back panel first before I cut out the front panel. So guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe and check out my other videos. I'm sure you're going to love it. So after cutting out, I'll just separate the pieces. So I'll go ahead and separate the front panel from the back panel. So I'll set the back panel aside while we work on the front panel. So for the front part, I'll go over to the point where my neckline stopped and then come in by 2.5 inches. So I'll connect that 2.5 inches down to the full length of my dress. You can use your ruler to do this. So from that same 2.5 inches, I'll connect it to meet my neck width using my ruler. So I'll just connect it this way. It's going to form a little bit of slant there. So the next thing now is to cut out this 2.5 inches. So go ahead and cut it out. So remember, you can decide to use any measurement you prefer for these parts, depending on how big or how small you want it to be. 
So the next thing we want to do is to join the pieces of fabric together, the front and the back panel. So I'll take one piece of my front panel and match it to my back panel this way, right sides facing each other. So you can decide to use your pins to secure it. So I'll take it to my sewing machine now and join the shoulder points together using half an inch. So when I'm done doing that, I will show you guys the next thing to do. So after joining the shoulders together, this is what we have. So the next thing we want to do now is to form the turn up design at the base of the sleeve. So I'm just going to open up my fabric this way. So I have this fabric cut out already. It's a crepe fabric. So I'll go ahead now and place the wrong side of my dress on the right side of this fabric and I'll stitch it down this way. So when I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead and close it up and then fold in about quarter of an inch and stitch it all the way down so there are different methods of doing this um turn up design so you can decide to fold your fabric into two and stitch it to the wrong side of your dress but for me this method is what i'll be using as i explained so i'll do the same thing for the other side and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so after attaching our turn up to the sleeve this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful it came out so the next thing we want to do is to join the sides of our dress together so i'm going to go ahead and match the wrong the right sides facing each other this way and then using our one inch seam allowance i'm just going to go ahead and stitch it all the way down from the armhole point stitch it all the way down to the full length of my dress so i'll repeat the same thing for the other side I'll stitch it all the way down then when i'm done doing that i'll fold in the base of my dress as well so after closing up the sides of our dress this is how it came out you can see how neat it looks so before we move over to the color part of this dress i'll be having pockets in front of my dress so this is optional so my pocket is going to start four inches above my hip line so i'm going to put my pocket four inches above my hip line that is where it's going to start so just follow what I'm doing in the video. So before I attach the pocket, I'm going to go ahead and fold in the upper part, which is going to be the opening of my pocket to have a neat finish in there. So while attaching my pocket, I'll just fold in a quarter of an inch on that side. So I'll use my pin to secure it down. So I folded in a quarter of an inch on that side. And then I'll stitch it down on my sewing machine. So when I get to the base, I'll fold in another quarter of an inch and stitch it down. And when I get to the other side, I'll do the same thing as well. So I'll stitch it down and leave the upper part opened. So guys, the measurement of my pocket is 8 inches by 10 inches. And I added half an inch all the way around for seam allowance. So I'll do the same thing for the other pocket and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so after sewing down my pockets to my dress this is how it came out this is what it looks like so right now we're moving over to the color part of this dress so to get the amount of fabric you'll be needing for this part go ahead and measure what you have all around the open angle from the neckline of your dress so i'll just go ahead and take my taper now and show you guys so i'll start from one end of my neckline and then i'll just measure what i have all the way down as you can see me doing in the video so for this part i have 45 inches so i'll start from the other edge and then i'll measure it all the way down so i have 37 inches here so in total i have about 82 inches in length so i would go ahead and cut out a fabric of about 83 inches because of the folding at the base so remember that we took out 2.5 inch on each side so the width of my fabric will be about 6 inches the extra 1 inch will be for joining to so i've gone ahead to cut out the fabric i'll be attaching to my dress so i have a length of about 83 inches and the width of the fabric is 6 inches remember we took out 2.5 inches on both sides of our dress so i added one extra inch to it for so that's when i attach it to my dress it's going to truncate the size so when we fold this into two we'll have three inches on both sides so to so attach it to your dress go ahead and fold in the neckline of the back panel to get the center points 
fold it this way and then when you get the center point go ahead to notch it notch it yes so fold the um the strap you'll be adding to your dress also into two equal parts fold it in the collar this way to get the center point and notch it as well so right now take the open angle of the fold and match it to the right side of your dress match the two points you notched together that's the center point and then i'll take it to my sewing machine now and stitch it using half an inch all the way down i'll join the two fabrics together all the way down i'll put the same thing for the other side i'll join it all the way down join the closed edge of the fabric and then when i'm done stitching it i'll show you guys what it looks like so after attaching our long collar strap to it this is how it came out so this is what you should have as well so if you're going to be using this as a kimono jacket this is where you're going to stop you don't need to join it together so just go ahead and fold the base in and stitch it down but for me i'll be closing up this front part so i'll go ahead and flip over my fabric to the wrong side Move it to the wrong side this way. So the first thing you want to do is to determine where you want your neckline to stop. So I'll go ahead and take 9 inches from my shoulder point. I'll be working with 9 inches for the depth of my neck. My neckline. So from that 9 inches point, I'm just going to go ahead and join the fabrics together. So I'm just going to be using a bit of fabric, not even up to quarter of an inch. And then I'll use my pin to secure it together. So I'll do that and stitch it all the way down. I'll just join them slightly together. So if you're going to be having slits, if you're working with a long dress, you stop stitching at the point where you want your slit to start. But so if you have an opening like this when you stop stitching, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to stitch it all the way down. So when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys the finished product of our dress. So after joining the front parts together, this is what it looks like. I also went ahead to sew up buttons in front just to design it. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good press now before I wear it. So this is the end of this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and also watch my other videos. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!